With that, I'll turn it over to our governor, Governor Brown. Thank you. Uh, I want to announce that I've uh, filed a letter with the uh, president asking for an emergency declaration for the kind of relief that that kind of uh, petition will make available. Uh, the federal government is already providing quite a lot of help right now, uh, but this will formalize uh, our, our request, and then that will be the first step toward a more permanent uh, request for federal assistance. Obviously, this is a very serious matter, and as I've been briefed over the last several days, it strikes me that this is uh, quintessentially a, a challenge of engineers, of on-the-ground, uh, hands-on people that know how to fix uh, various uh, construction elements of this dam. So uh, it's not one that uh, the, the political mind may have something to say about it, uh, but this is uh, an example of our very uh, interdependent complex society where the engineers and the managers uh, who are right there, um, far below the hierarchy uh, on the spot are the people we're depending on. People around me are the overall leaders and uh, I would say that the evacuation has gone well. Uh, they will be able to say when, uh, not tonight, but when this uh, order will, uh, will be um, ready for some kind of modification. Uh, again, uh, we have been investing substantial sums in our infrastructure, probably $5 billion uh, on various forms of flood control in the last 10 years, about $400 million in the last two years. So there's a lot to be done. Uh, there's a lot more. Things can fail, and whether it's levees or, or, or dams or bridges, uh, we've got a lot of work to do. And as we've mentioned, uh, our deferred maintenance is great, and uh, stuff happens. Things occur, and we have to be able to respond. And the people have been really good, the sheriffs, uh, the people who are responsible, uh, CAL FIRE, Department of Water Resources, the National Guard, uh, OES, they've all been uh, putting their hands to the, to the plow here and getting it done. So I'm proud of what they're doing, uh, and my heart goes out to all those who have, have to live with the concern and the fear that this kind of a uh, situation engenders. So it is serious. Uh, our folks are doing the best they can, and uh, we'll know more in the succeeding days. I'd be glad to take any questions. Governor, you asked about the early reports. The state of the spillway. Are you talking about the uh, the early well, reports that? If the, if the water started rushing. Well, it's, so far it's holding, and that's why the evacuation is still in place because there's uncertainty, and uh, the 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 norm is uh, better be safe than sorry. And what exactly it is, uh, as I mentioned just a moment ago, this is about engineering. It's about construction, it's about repair. And uh, those people who are doing that are the ones that have to uh, bring those kind of ideas to the fore. And I'm just here to make sure that uh, from the top down, everybody is aligned with those at the bottom who have the responsibility. Any comment on the earlier filings questioning the, uh, whether it was appropriately reinforced? Uh, are you referring to that, whatever it was, that the uh, 10 years ago or 12 years ago. Yeah, there's, I, I think that's, uh, glad, we, glad we found out about it. It was not part of the uh, uh, record before that, at least the record that I saw. So look, we have a lot of stuff out here. In the Delta, uh, we have a lot of, as I say, bridges and dams and spillways and uh, more to come. Uh, we're in a very complex society where things can go wrong when they do. They ripple out and affect hundreds of thousands, in some cases, millions of people. But that report, um, it, there's lots of reports. So we, we have to depend on the professionals and the engineers, and they tell us what we need, and then we do it. But uh, I welcome more scrutiny. Um, uh, President of Parsons just called me on the way over here, said the you know, they have their own concerns, and I said, great, we'll put you in touch with DWR. So we'll get a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, eyes on the problem now that we have a problem, and the problem is big, and we're responding. Governor, you sent a letter to the president asking about Yes. This. Have you spoken to anyone in the Trump administration? Yes. I spoke to a cabinet member earlier today. I was very... Who was that? Uh, I, I don't know. We have to give you all the... I personally spoke to a recently confirmed cabinet member. Uh, my office has been in touch in the White House. Uh, I think that will be sufficient. Um, no, 
no vulgar details beyond those that I'm giving you. No, whatever it is. No, that was, no, I'm not answering you. Not, no, you didn't pick the right name. Are you, are you, are you what? concerned about Cal, uh, the types of comments the president has made about possibly withholding funds from California impacting your request? Well, I, I wouldn't try to pick any one comment out of the last three weeks. There's a lot of um, buzz on a number of fronts, domestic and foreign. And I'm sure that California and Washington will work in a, in a constructive way. That, that's my attitude. There will be uh, different points of view, uh, but we're all one America, and we all have uh, challenges that we share in common. And uh, as we defend America, we defend California and vice versa. Any idea when people can go home? Uh, not, we're not making that announcement tonight, but I, you can ask the sheriffs will be saying something tomorrow, I think, on that. Yes. Governor, there's been some discussion on this that this is an example of both water problems that we have and water reliability and infrastructure. And that's been talk at the Capitol, it's been other places. What, what's your take on that? That this is an example of what we have not done for years? Well, uh, we don't know what it's an example of because we didn't even think about it three days ago. So it happened. And the rain is not as great as it was in prior years. And some, some of the spillway gave way. And then we had the other problem with the other spillway. So um, I think you can take this from it, that infrastructure is profoundly important. And in our complex society, whether it's electricity or gas or water or roads or bridges, there's a lot to be done. And we're not talking about a few uh, million we're talking about tens of billions. And that's why I was very glad to see President Trump announce his $1 trillion infrastructure program, which I uh, fully embrace. And I will strive to make sure California gets 12%. That's our population representative. And we have 12, we have certainly 120 billion that we can spend it on wisely. And here, I don't have any plans right now. Right now they're busy. I, I don't think we need uh, politicians fluttering around uh, in, without able to do anything. That's my point. When I hear what these, when they talk about this, uh, this is not law, it's not politics, it's not what I'm used to. So I'm going to leave this to the engineers and uh, fly whatever appropriate uh, management and monitoring and, and good skeptical eye that I can apply. But I don't have to fly around and, and wave at you guys. Uh, there's a lot of rocks and boulders and big uh, equipment that's being moved in right now yeah. to help shore things up. Is that something that uh, could have happened sooner, perhaps, in your estimation, or things on the right time table? I, you know, that's not a question that uh, you or I could probably opine wisely on. So I assume these folks, to approve it otherwise, are doing a splendid job. Are there any other pieces of infrastructure that are going to get more scrutiny after this? Uh, you bet there are. There are going to be a lot of things going to get scrutiny. Every time you have one of these disasters, people perk up and start looking at uh, analogous situations and uh, things that you might not have paid as much attention to. But we live in a, in a, in a world of risk. The earthquake shook the Bay Bridge, and then we, uh, then we, the state, and all the different governors had to put up a new bridge. Uh, so stuff happens, and we respond. So this is part of the ordinary process. And in that sense, it will be helpful uh, to stimulate more uh, infrastructure analysis and more infrastructure investment. And there was yeah. any word to the evacuees, the nearly 200,000 people that have had to leave their homes. What would be the message you'd like to get? Well, my message is that, that we're doing everything we can to get this uh, dam in shape that they can return and they can live safely without fear. Uh, it, it's very difficult. I, I don't... It's hard to understand how uh, people have been able to evacuate so quickly and, and the disturbance uh, to their lives. And just know that we, uh, their government and their representatives are, are doing everything they can and will continue to do whatever it takes uh, to make sure we have a safe dam up there and in all the other places where we have these kind of uh, potential threats. All right, with that, we got to get back to Did you get any assurances from the cabinet secretary you talked to who was on name? <laughs> I got a, like, yes, I got a very congenial conversation. That's what I will say. And I was Thank you. glad about that. But d details to follow. Details to follow. Thank you, Governor. All right.